Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. How going? Hey, how you doing? Not nice. Man, we got some guys in here today, man. Hey, it took an act of Congress just to get them to sit still long enough to get the camera on them. These guys right here, man, everybody know them in the city. That's why I got them on here, because I know you y'all know what we're doing serious when you see this move right here, man. These guys here have been blessing me ever since I I um I started trying to figure my cameras out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? God sent them to me, man, in so many different ways. I got my boy Cam God, and I got Sean in the building, man. What's going on, man? Man, what's good? What's good? Wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man. So, man, I always start off, and I always do this, man. Tell us just a little bit about yourself. You ain't got to say much, because I know y'all don't like to be in front of the camera. Exactly. <laughs> man, man, you know, that's what we do. That's what we so, do. So, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, Jam Visions Cam God. Uh, basically, I'm a videographer, photographer for you know Dallas and any other city. You know, yeah, I, I see you everywhere. Yeah. So, um, you know, any celebrities or anybody that's done any type of work or needs anything done out here, they usually call myself. I know. You are this guy right here, man. Exactly. So, give, give us a little spiel. A little spiel about me, uh, Sean Ovid Media. Oh, you ain't heard about me. No, 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 no. Low, no. You, know you low key, but yeah. then dangerous. You know, this yeah. boy deadly. I'm in the back. You are the right? rock. If you ain't got this man. <laughs> man, you know, God brought y'all to me, man, in two different ways, two different times. Everybody that been coming on the show, it been organic. So I can sit here in this seat and feel good about the fact that it happened like organically, like I, it was like okay. Man, you met right in front of his. That's shop. what I'm saying. Like it, it happened. I don't like tell that. how we met. Should I tell? No, nah, I don't know. What are we doing? Just hey, talking? Ahead, no, I was go going to an oh, AAB. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. Wow. Yeah, he was. But at the end of the day, it was no, like I was, I was. I had to go there. Court, he had to go. You know? He had to get that paper signed like everybody else. Yeah. And he wasn't doing nothing over there like he should have been. He should have been over there telling them about what really went down. But he just getting that paper signed and leaving. I know what he was doing. So, so Sean, what, what's up with you, man? Oh, I, you you talking about how we met? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a camera from him. I yeah. offer up. Oh, oh yeah, selling, yeah. Selling he hooked me up, man. And I was like, man, when I got him over here, I'm like, man, I ain't letting yeah. him go. I ain't never letting him go. I he met forget Sean. about that. I met Sean. It was a dub car show dub car in ninety show. in uh two thousand seventeen. Really, two thousand seventeen, and I had finessed my way into there. So I was, I mean, I was supposed to be there, but I had gave my ticket away yeah. to someone else. And I was like, I get in there. So I was in there and they was kicking everybody off stage. Okay. When I was in there, you know, I met the people that was on the ground, zero and all them. But when I was coming up, they were like, oh, everybody get off. And they was like, you, all right, you come up here. And it was me and Ovid that was on, on the stage that was just left on there. So I remember him just being up there because I'm thinking like, man, just to be in this spot right here. And he was doing his thing. He had the big boy. Yeah, 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 camera, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What camera I had down. Man, man, look, what I seen. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were going on it. When I seen him up there, when I seen him up there, I was like, man, he official. You know, he, he official. He the one. He, he the official, one. He got it. He you know, got it. Because it was just me and him. Yeah. But I was like, damn, they let me up here because I know I wasn't supposed to be there. No, 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 no. God, it's the way well, you supposed, supposed to be there. To be there. You were supposed to be there. But, you know, and then me, after watching him and seeing what he's doing, and he constantly, um, he wasn't he wasn't all the way official with 97.9 yet. Yeah, no, yeah no. but he was just working and working and working. I love yeah. that because I was working, too, and yeah. I was speeding off of watching him. I so think he's been in the business longer than you have. He has been. Okay. Yeah. How much How much longer? Well, you got started. How long? I started in 2017, like in oh. July. Oh, damn. I was in 2010. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. But y'all both dope. That's what's so cold about it. People that sit in these seats, man, they be knowing, man. And they be like, man, yeah, man, this dude right here, uh, you did that V Live video. And I was checking it out. And I'm like, that's my guy right there, you know. And then uh, VIP YG, shout out to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was like, man, yeah, he hooked me up, man. That's my dude. I'm like, yeah. Nah, I said, that nigga, a lot of people do. <laughs> hey, YG, YG, he called me to do that video. And um, when I did it, like, it will happen that day. It was like certain things that needed to be taken care of and we didn't have it at first, but um, we got it 
you know, because the people weren't there with the cars because you've seen it with everybody. Yeah, yeah, cars yeah, yeah. And everything. Man. It didn't happen like that. It, it came. They came. I was like, what the hell are they doing out here? And then they was burning the rubber. Burn. I've never been in this type of scene. This was some um, Fast and Furious type You shit. killed it, though. There was a man, listen. That he, uh, YG got some dope song. He got some dope track. Then we just did the Busted Bands. Yeah, yeah, I Busted seen that band, one. I man. seen that one, too. So on yours, yo, I seen you. I, I mean, 50 comes to town. And when he comes to town, I see these visuals. And then I, I find out it's you behind them. And they solid. You know what I'm saying? How did that transpire for you? That transpired through DJ Chaotic. Okay. Through that relationship with Chaotic. Yeah. Uh, so I see you know. plugging in with a lot of different dudes that come to town. You don't like, I mean, then you'll fly out too. Every time I call you, yeah, man, I'm for the fly. I'll be back, man. I'll be back. He, <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. I'll be out of town. I'm like, oh, this dude, Hollywood, he gone. I was like, man, I ain't going to never be able to get him in front of the camera. You understand? <laughs> Sometimes for pleasure, sometimes for work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I enjoy. I, I just enjoy seeing the hustle. I ain't gonna lie. I'm real caught up on that. Like I've been like that. Like when I see somebody grinding, it motivates me. So when I see you guys grinding, I'm like, man. I, and if I know if I got a camera problem, I know who to call. I'm like, they know the answers. You're yeah, because they own it. And y'all visuals be looking cleaner than everybody's, dude. I appreciate and, it. And I know it's the settings, y'all. I, I mess them settings up every time. <laughs> or or having the right cameras, all three of the right cameras. It, it doesn't. I don't even think it has anything to do with the cameras. Sometimes the sets, but to me, I don't even think it's a right and wrong. You think it's, it's like, the shot, like the look yeah. you're looking for? Yeah, it's like it's like whatever. To me, whatever you feel like. You know what I'm saying? You want it to look like because some people will come on your comments and be like, "Well, this should have been like this." Just motherfucker, I want it to be like that. Exactly. That's how I wanted I said it to it look. That you know way. what I'm saying? Is or it, sometimes it, even if you don't know, you just don't know, but you'll learn. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't ever tell people, "Oh, well, you know, next time, how about try this?" Because that person eventually get it because I didn't know a lot of things because I started off with the T5 Rebel. Yeah. So I did not know about the shutter. Okay. I didn't know about the ISO. I didn't know about the aperture. I didn't know about the lens. I didn't know how how to uh, move the settings, yeah. you know, how to do my white balance. I didn't know anything about that. So I had to learn, but it, I, um, I've been watching, like just watching people. Yeah. yeah. And when I was watching Sean, if I watching anybody else, I'll be like, okay, what do I need to work on? So I'll look on YouTube and I'll see, learn about my camera. And then I'll like, oh, that's what I need to do. And then that's how I'll fix it. What's the thing that, that and I asked both of y'all this, what's something, because I know I've done this, what's something that you've done so long and one day you realize like, dang, I should have been figured that out. That's back at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. In the beginning. In <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I should have knew that. That's why I, I, I've I been see, there. When I see, when I when someone comes and tells me something about it, um, I know when I was working with Jeff Adair, and that's how I started. When he was telling me things and sharing things with me, I was like, dang. So I didn't really feel too bad because I did not know. Yeah. However, um, I felt like I should have known no. that. But it wasn't my fault. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. always, and I'm still learning. I'm still, still learning. Man, I don't know. It's a lot of stuff I don't know in camera, and you know, especially when you get the the big cameras, the oh, red that's camera. him. He he be, he be oh, now you be, you be okay. dealing with that TV camera. No, nah, when oh, he yeah, deal with the, the TV, TV see that man. Yeah, he do that. Cruise. Cruise. Jay Cruz, Cruise. Yeah. I'm sorry. Jay Cruz was like, uh, he was like when when uh when when Sean first came, he told a whole story about your whole yeah. everything about your yeah, how got, you started with him. I got to thank mm -hmm. Cruz for the opportunity. Like he was the one that. Th that's what he said. He's like, man, I told him, man, if he'll shoot for me, I can't give him nothing right now, but it'll pay off. And now you can't even, I said, I can't even get him, man. I said, I get him on the phone. That's about it. Yeah. He be busy. At least he answers. You have a lot of people who. Yeah, do, like I mentioned in Rock T. Rock, Rock T, T. Yeah, T won't, won't answer. answer you. Yeah, it's certain people that done blew up that I can't even get to answer the phone. Yeah. And they we we was rocking out together. Now they with Money Man and mm -hmm. Jonah Lucas and and they won't even answer for me. And I be on them too. I be every show. Then nigga, you know when you was coming, you had the backpack, nigga. I'm like, like Pimp C was on them niggas when he was. Right. <laughs> you know, you know we was cool. And yeah. and you know, and you was you I was you was a fan. We was partners and now you done went, come on back home. Yeah. I did the same thing with Taylor. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and ask the question. I know you got something for him. She always got questions, guy. <laughs> I know everybody has a different style of um, videography or photography. What make y'all stand out from each other? Because so that our listeners can know if we want to touch you, you're more my man than you are. So it, it's kind of that's a hard question. It's yeah because he don't know his have a different style. Style, but 
Well, me, I mean. What makes you stand out different from everybody? That you think, because this is going to be his yeah, opinion. Because yeah. the people more so, they want music videos. You know, I know, you know. Yeah, I, my I, expertise is probably like interviews, radio, probably. probably like, yeah, because I, 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 I shoot videos, but I really. You don't, you know, it's okay to and do I sh- it. And I shoot more music videos and do more photographies and do more concerts and more okay. B-rolls a, behind the scenes. I would say like, I'm a recap king, that's what. Yeah, he the he the oh, recap. Yeah. You bring it, you recap. bring it back. Yeah. I do recaps too. Yeah, you do recaps. Too. I, I do recaps too. Recaps is where I started at, but, but at the clubs at the club. <laughs> but then I had to stop it. I had to slow down at the clubs. I you couldn't do the clubs too. Why? Much. The club when when um what was told to me or what was uh you start shooting at the clubs and you start shooting at the clubs all the time. You gonna end up being stuck at the clubs. Really? You know, always shooting the club, mm-hmm. always because mm-hmm. now you're booked there that. and you have to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You'll have that. no time for nothing else. And then at the same time, you know, I can't just shoot the club regularly. I got to drink. I got to do this. And I hate going home 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and being tipsy or, you know, waking up in the morning and having that feeling or waking up late because I have other shoots to do that next day. Yeah. You know, so. So let me ask y'all a question. What, uh, out of all the people y'all have worked with, shot, you know who who stands out the most to you know. I'll, I'll start off with Sean because he don't like to talk. Who stands who stands out was the something about them that stood out working working with these guys. Nobody stands out. Everybody None of equal them. They all the same. Everybody equal. So say I see you shot. I, what, you shot Nipsey when he came to town that time. I remember seeing it on your footage. Yeah. Did you shoot him as well? Mm. Or, um, or, or can we twist the question in this way? Who was the most pleasant to work with? Because, you know, you have those people who think that they, you know, they can just try to tell you exactly what to do, how to do it, whatever. But, yeah, some people who laid back and be like, you're the professional. Do do what you do. Oh, yeah, I really oh, I don't know. Everybody really, <laughs> well, to me, um, everybody really be cool. It's never had a situation with anybody that I've had an good question. I, I say people that try to lowball you, they try to get want the want the most for the less. Yes. Yeah. But but that comes but that comes from other people. That comes from other people um trying to book you through them. It'll be either uh, a, a third person, you know what I mean, or a middleman yeah. will come to you and be like, hey, man, I need you to do so-and-so, so-and-so for so-and-so, and they'll be trying to lowball you and be like, man, yeah. you just look out for them, you know. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it because it's always an opportunity to yeah. work with the person. Yeah. Um, most of the people I've been is cool, but most of the people that stand out to me is being like, you know, working with DC or MTV DC. Wild and Out, things like that, because yeah. I've been more MTV consistently working with them more than anything and they've always looked out they don't need me yeah you know when i was with mtv while not with nick cannon the first time they didn't need me to be there but they allowed me to be there you know shout out to rip michaels because he actually initiated it wow and that's where i came in and then met nick and then met dc and met carlos and met chico building those relationships you know genuine relationships yeah, not something to. where you just having to put up a bag to see them that's a different type of relationship right it's all different ways that people meet people. I see a lot of rappers and mm-hmm, they meet mm-hmm. certain people and they work with them and they can never talk to them again because of the way that they approached them. So there's a way that that relationship is built when you're dealing with them. Wouldn't y'all agree? Right. It is. I, it's always, everything is a relationship. Yeah. 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 I think it's the way you approach it. Like the way you lay it out. I mean, you could kind of, what can I say? Hold yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you put yourself out there in a bad way. Nobody ain't going to respect you. Right. Am I right? And, that, and that's the main thing with myself that makes me, that sets myself different from other camera people because, I mean, I when I started off, I do things for free and I don't look at it and I still don't think about the money to a certain extent, but I know I put that on the groundwork. And but I know, you would say the same thing. Yeah, I would say it's the, the same exposure. thing. It's the exposure. It's the way you approach it. It's the way you, right. like, 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 like the question you were saying, though, the one you sent me um about, is this something that you guys wanted to do since you was, since you were since a, you kid. Was a kid? Yeah. You always wanted I to always be Plus you wanted to be a fireman. Oh, I was going to be an architect. Oh, you was going <laughs> to. I was an artist, but I'm still you, using it. Same, you, it I'm, same pers- the creativity, you know, I'm still using it with the video. Okay. Yeah, so you feel like you're fulfilling that that dream anyway? Yeah. And you you say from day one, you was going, this is what you wanted to do. When I first watched, uh, when MTV had came out, MTV had, um, you know, had all the alternative Music videos with Alanis Morissette, Smashing Pumpkins, Corn, um, Nirvana, and their videos had 
a real treatments, you know, real treatments. Because nowadays with these artists, they want to, you know, with rap artists, they want to be on top of the tables and have the yeah, drugs yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and the guns yeah. and pop, pop, pop and all this other stuff. And that it's, it's whack because this has been done 50 million times. Time. Yeah, yeah, let's do something else. This is not music, but the way I see how those music videos was made me want to be like, man, this is what I want to do. Even though their budgets was like 50,000. Yeah, they had them big budgets, but the technology was yeah. different. Shoot, the technology was, it's way more now than it is then. But Yeah, yeah. Uh, you sure about that? Uh, back then. It, it was, was, way, it was way, that thousand. budget back was crazy then, the back budget, then. The budget, the budget was crazy because nobody was was using these cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah the DSR. No one was using these cameras. They were using so the big boys. The big boys. Yeah. And the way how they were putting it together, they really had to come up with something from point A to point B to point C. Mm -hmm. The ending part, everything had to be strategically mapped out. And that's most of the videos. Sometimes people will catch certain things in my videos. I'll throw certain things in. Yeah. Subliminally. Yeah. If people catch it. Yeah. I do. I do. Honestly, I do it. You so, know. so do you think that? So, what's your what's your strongest thing? Like, when you, are you expensive, man, to deal with? Yeah. I yeah. think you yeah. kind of high. Put, I, I, I <laughs> he telling right off the bat. Yeah, I did the yep. ground. You ain't playing no games with it. The, they gonna have to pay what they weigh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if I did the groundwork, yeah, you know. Well, you want quality, so you got to pay for it. Exactly. I, I I respect it. I respect it. You could ask me the same thing about my clothes, because in here, yeah, you going to drop that bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel you. I feel you on that, because I'm, I'm the same way. I had a, a conversation with a couple people a few days ago, and they were like, man, no, you got to look at it this way. I'm like, no, nah, I understand how to work with people and sharing with, and, yeah. you know, I, 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 and I'll yeah. work with your budget. I'll work with your budget, but don't try to have me shoot these amazing, and you want this, and you want that, and you want it like this, and you want it the next day, and you ain't gave me nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know your worth. That's what it is. That's important, right? Yeah. To know your worth. Right. You know what you know you you know what your worth is. I mean, do you guys check the market to see if y'all really on point with what y'all selling? Don't lie to me. So we really lowballing ourselves. <laughs> wow. We really we, we really we we really we really not even putting everything into it where we could be charging. Yeah. We we are I mean, far as right now, I'm just really giving people the opportunity to work with me because regardless of not where I've been and where I'm going, as many as people say, hey, you're too you're too expensive, I can't afford you, or you shouldn't work like that, I have not slowed down or stopped yet. He know. when I'm, I mean, since being on that stage, I've just been going up, going up, going up. That's a blessing. That's so, a blessing. And it's Definitely. not nothing to be, like, I'm not bragging or anything, but I'm saying, like, when I'm not a, being a, not going to be available to y'all, then y'all going to be like, oh, damn. But if you work with me already and regular price, look, I'm gonna look out, for, look out you. for you. Let me ask you a question, Sean. Do you, how was it with the radio station working with? Because that's something different. I know you ha you don't you haven't done that. Yeah, I've done that. You work with the radio station, ninety seven point nine and K one hundred four. Yeah, really. Like you you worked on the morning the morning show yeah. when you was doing it. How? Well, he was doing the morning show and. They, I was with Hollywood Zay. Shout out to my boy Hollywood, Hollywood Zay, the mayor, Zay, the okay. mayor of the city. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so well, how was it with the morning show? You know, I tried to get to, I, oh, oh, with Jay with uh Jay Cruz. I tried to get the dirt <laughs> on when how, how y'all was flipping and flopping over there and moving and shaking. He would he he gave it to me a little bit. Then at the end, I kept messing with him. Not giving any. Yeah, I yeah, wanted the dirt. I, I wanted the dirt. I'm they like, no, nah, I ain't man. gonna tell it, man. But I got that. I watch when you see the interview come out. He 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 kind of spilled the beans on a lot of stuff that he hadn't even <laughs> exposed. Yeah. But I thank God that he did. It's gonna make for a good interview. I get some views on that. Whoa, <laughs> hold up. Hey, that's why it's not good to interview me because I'm not gonna say anything. Yo, you gonna be like this? He's no, very tight exactly. lip. And you yeah. know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I'm, even I'm, when 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 you wasn't on camera, you wasn't trying to give up the information. Yeah. So I think that's a, that's a sign of respect. Yeah. I like it. I like loyalty. It. Loyalty. You got to have a lot of loyalty in here because um, I be with a lot of artists and I film a lot of things. So have anybody ever told you don't don't you don't don't show this? Yeah. yeah, I got that in. I took in Beverly yeah. Hills. I was filming. I had Jay Tyler with me. Oh, okay. And and and, and that's what T. I said. Don't don't film in here. Yeah. I said, all right, dog. Oh, yeah. I'll ask. or I'll ask beforehand. They, sometimes they won't even remember that I'm filming, and I'll just stop, and I'll be like, Hey, do you want me to film this? Because I know you know because you've been around it. You yeah. pick up on it a lot faster. You know, than hey, do you want me to film this? Or yeah. Do you want me, you know, to put this either what y'all talking about or you know, because I was with Carlos Miller and Charleston White. Link them up. 
together. I seen that. Yeah, I got. He chocolate. was there. You know, his view. It been killing. It, this is a, this is second home now. He real uh, cool. This real is where you want to be. See, Charleston. Yeah. I've, been, I've been knowing Charleston since before he got on the camera and before he started doing going live. Yeah, yeah. And everything. He actually, I stayed at his house and left my. I didn't stay there, but I had was going to jail the next day and left my. Boy, you street with there. it, Angel. You street <laughs> with it. This the street one right here. So <laughs> you hear that? He was left his camera because he was going, he was going to jail. To jail. <laughs> And, and then Charleston I met him at the AA next door. <laughs> this is all becoming, it, it's getting real right now. I'm finally, you the gangster camera guy. <laughs> they don't, they, they don't not bother me. They don't leave me alone, man. They leave me alone. So, so, so tell me about how you, how you and Charleston White link. Yeah. So, um, well me and Charleston, he was always being how he is, but he was, he would type it. Yeah. And I would see everything that he would say. And I felt the same way about it. So me and him just chopped it up. We talked about, I'm talking about we talked for like hours and he I actually figured out when me and Carlos Miller and Charleston had linked up he had said man do you know I had got locked up when he was talking about he had uh, the mental asylum yeah 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 he said the conversation that me and him had got him in there I said what he said yeah man the police was listening I said they was listening he said man the police was listening that, hey, listen. and they followed me the next day after our conversation I said you lying I said why you ain't telling me you that? gotta be careful cause these microphones are powerful man People I'm being real. Listening on everything. Yeah, they they watching me now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Well, if you're watching, make sure you give them a good side, Nick. No. <laughs> but no. They I, really I, do be watching. No, I know they're watching. They, that's their job to watch. I mean, but the thing is, man, you got to be careful what you say and how you say it. And and not only that, what we're saying, if it's real and you believe in it, then what's up? You willing to, you, you got to stand by you what stand you say. Behind it. Well, it's, it's, it's more of the influence that you bring. So when Charleston starts speaking, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like, you know, you have all these people that's listening, they listening. around. They listen. So it's like, oh, we got to. Yeah. 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 Because all, all, all people need or, or, or us as a people need is a, is a spark. Once that spark hit. It, it's on. I think. Spread that, like wildfire. So, so. Sean, what's up with uh, what what what's the venture right now? What's the thing? What, what where you at with yours? Yeah, let's talk about that. What, what you working with? What you working on? I'm doing a lot of everything. Like you were just out of town. I don't know where you went. You didn't tell me, but you say I'm out of town. I'm going out of town. I'll be the, back. You didn't see the video, the recap. Yeah, you are gonna recap it. I didn't see it, but I need to go check. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to keep up with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just do one. Well, the conversation right. be so, like light here. Yeah, but he being so modest. I'm talking about he went. Which you went to the BT Awards? Yeah, went to the BT, man, BT Awards. Awards. I was like, whoa! I was like, you go <laughs> in a row, man. Wow, wow, that's yeah. crazy. Didn't go last year because of uh, COVID. Corona. COVID, yeah. yeah. So, so let me ask so, you a question: The way how technology is changing. Um, how often do you change your equipment, cameras and stuff like that, updating it, getting you? Oh, they spending that money, Steph. I can tell you, they <laughs> pay. They two tear it up had, over me. This guy, he he sold me the camera, two tear it up. <laughs> no, he was gone. We, we need to know that too, so that because we have cameras and we. Well, need to this know is this the the one you shooting off of? Is it that he done know, with that? I they know, gone. They about five steps I'm a, ahead I'm of us. Make it, I'm gonna make it easier for you. I'm gonna make it e way easier for you. Everything that people watch, especially on TV, unless it's a uh, 4K. TV, most people have 1080p. That's what I know. I most know that. Most people have 1080p. I know that. So if you, I mean, we upgrade because, you know, now people want the four. The we want 4K. Videos. We want 16K. We want this. Woo -woo. That's cool and everything. But you still have the basics. These You still have the basics. As long as you ain't shooting with the grandma and pop and the, mm -hmm. you know. The right. <laughs> yeah, the you square good. You, you straight. I mean, this, you, everything is already upgraded still to this day. Um the main thing they're trying to change now is the phones to do that. You know, you was down in uh, Miami. Yeah. What you, what you did you hear recently? I, I just seen for the Super Bowl him, for the Super Bowl. Yeah. How was that for you? Oh, that was good. I, well, it, it was, seemed like he was having a lot of fun. Not at first. Yeah, it seemed like it. <laughs> not at first. Yeah, I oh, seen you. you. I, it with it. the Branson. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Branson. Shout out Branson. Shout out Branson. Branson must really be treating you good, man. Cause this nigga love Branson, only. He, he we only drink Branson. Don't bring that little old henny out. I've never had Branson before. What I'm gonna have to get you some. I think it's expensive. It's brown. Is it brown? Yeah. Cognac. He told me that. And they got, and they got champagne. Oh, yeah. And they got champagne. champagne. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me don't even come at they him with nothing else. They don't have nothing white on a Branson brand. Mm -hmm. No, you got to have you got to you got to be strong and drink that brand. I'll, I'll, I'll try. But with that, with how, how how I got linked up with um Michael Blackson and Fifty Cent was kind of yeah I organic. seen that y'all tough but that man. Was, but that was organic though at the same time because that wasn't even that wasn't even in the plan really when I got there when I got there 
I was supposed to be linking up with DC Young Fly at the arena. It was DC, Mike Epps. Um, it was Mike Epps, Michael Blackson. Uh, it was another person that was going to be. And Calamar White was uh, really? up there. Calamar White, shout out to my boy Calamar White because he's Man. doing big things too. Well, you moving well. around. Y'all niggas is, y'all Hollywood up behind the scene though. <laughs> Ain't no telling what y'all doing with these folks either. I'm going to say that right what now. You I don't know. You know, a lot of those folks, I, you see them on the wall. I've seen what they do. These people got a lot of money. Are you willing to take it there? We point and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I know I drink a lot. Well, is that all y'all doing? That's all. Oh, I don't know. Hey, you man, know? Look, y'all ain't no tell it no way. I'm going to tell you this. We went up there. Um, they Michael, got a, they got a lot of money, up. man. Michael Blackson <laughs> hit me up. He said, hey, I want you to come to the... Um, he didn't say it like this. It's a, it ain't on the wall right there with me. He said, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 that, that nigga be on... He go hard every time, all the time. Yeah. So that's just how he is. He be chilling. He be chi he be really chill at the same time, but he be in his own. Yeah. You know, he know how to turn it on, turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we had went to the hotel room. I mean, went to the hotel. They had a whole uh, event going on with 50 Cent for uh, the Super Bowl watch party. Okay. So it was like 2,000 a seat. You know what I'm saying? So it was people that, that was up there. You throw that out there. <laughs> Everybody wasn't in the damn party. Nobody. Nobody. It yeah. was like how much a piece? It was 2,000 a seat. Two thousand a table. What you think about that, Coop? That's a that's an expensive table. <laughs> Everybody couldn't be in now. Two thousand, and you still had to pay for your drinks. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Some people in there with cups and nothing in it, right? I mean, but you had Michael Black Little water, fifty cent in there. I mean, it's a oh, small they kicking space. It. Yeah, they kicking. People, it. You kicking it with them? He walking around. They tip. They drinking the whole night. They drinking. I won't even drink. They was. You notice when the money go up and 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 the stuff costs more, they get a little more relaxed too. They be chilling at that yeah. point. I done been there, right? Mm -hmm. So they are gone and loosen up a little bit. Y'all done seen some stuff. Y'all don't want to tell it. I done seen some stuff. That's why I know y'all done seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what artist it is. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the artist. Do y'all work with the local artists, man? Like, like I'm not talking. I know y'all work with the a lot of the ones trying to be up and coming. But like the Yellow Beezes and, yeah. and, and and I mean to this day, been around, been around them, kicked it with them. Everything like that, Trap Boy, yeah, Mo Trap Boy, RP Mo Three, RP to Mo Three. What did y'all think about that? I gotta ask that on here. What, did, what, how did that, how did that impact the city? Far as the music go, um, how was it? Did it hurt the city? Did it help? Well, I know it didn't help it, but well, it, it felt it, it changed it, things. It made them feel. It made people. Um, it's a void. It's certain. It's a you certain can feel void. It. It's a certain void. So they're trying to figure out now what's going to happen. What's where is the next music? Because because Mo Three was actually doing something, he actually had substance behind it. I mean, you had Yella, you know, still doing his thing or whatever like that. But Yella's, he like, are, yeah, he, he, he up there. So man, Erica Banks doing good too. Man, so. man, Erica, Erica doing something as well. But they leave once they once yeah. they get on. They, they not don't even stay around, around no here more. no more. <laughs> they not even around no more. You know, uh, Mo Three. You know that video with Mo Three when he was in the casket. I was there. Jeff Adair had shot it, but me and him was You there. was there when he shot that. Mm, it was just me and him shooting it. But, but how did that happen? Because it seemed like everybody started I was thinking really about going that. to that. Was it something you think was... was he, something going... Like, I was thinking like you how You felt it like it, the way he done it. He because said a lot of that because stuff. That because that situation just happened when he had left Fort Worth and RP to my boy um, Half. You know, he just had got killed. Okay. So he had... Um, made that video right after that, you know, okay. so right after that situation where the old boy had got killed in Fort Worth and then Mo three was like looked at for a murder charge. Wow. You know, so he I had, remember when that happened. Yeah. So he was putting, you know, we had the casket and everything. We had him sitting on a, a bottomy table. What's that called? When the dead people sit on the table, man, listen, man, that's the autopsy. Yeah. He was on a real life autopsy table. Like was, that was real. That, that blood and all that stuff they all put on real. it. Yeah, they just. Well, the blood wasn't real. Yeah, but, but I know they put it up. They made it up the casket. Mm -hmm. Like, like I never could understand getting in a casket while you're alive. Mm -hmm. That's hard for me. But I know they do it for the for the mm -hmm. for the videos and stuff. What do you think about that? Look, we just watched Coming to America too. He was in the casket. Yeah, but it when was a standing died. up casket. <laughs> 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 you, have, I don't know. The standing up one don't look as bad as that. But he died. He died the same day. Oh, he died during the funeral. Yeah, he died. Right there, like I'm going. Uh, you said, "All right, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to die now." <laughs> 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 but no, like doesn't that, doesn't that freak you out though? It was freaky in there. I, I bet it was kind of. It was. It was like we shot that at what two o'clock in the that's morning. That's crazy. In the morning. That's I was one like, thing that that's one thing that I learned with Jeff, especially like we was shoot, it doesn't matter the time of the night or whatever it is, like we was getting it. 
So you, not only that, it's some crazy stuff. Like I hate snakes, I, and I see a lot of people in videos be having these snakes. I haven't I shot with a like, snake yet. You haven't? You don't like them? I, I mean, I just haven't. I, I would cockroaches. They be having anything, some big rats, ones, man. All that I, I would do. You don't like them, sir? The I don't like snakes, man. But you ain't gonna you ain't gonna would shoot. You shoot? Would you somebody? shoot with it? The uh, money, right? We, we, John we, is we, in there. I'm telling you right now. That don't be shaking with the camera, but yeah. That's when. Last year in LA, we was at Venice Beach. The big, uh, this guy had a big ass snake on the beach and shit. Yeah, but yeah. did you? How you, close were you standing to him? Oh, he was way back. Like, no, you was right there. Yeah. I don't be messing with him. I ran a dude out of here one time with a snake. I said, "This is not the pet shop. <laughs> I'm coming here with that." And then his old lady said, "Get out of this store. I hate this." I said, "Baby, don't get mad at me. I'm, I'm just telling you, this ain't no pet shop." Right. That's two doors over. Right. So, you know, but but no, um, you guys, man, doing a tremendous job in the city. And and we definitely uh, appreciate you guys for coming on this show. Um, I just, Sean, um, you got to teach me some things. I mean, you talked about a few things yeah, before yeah. you went out of town and you you, yeah, you had hit me. Some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the money ain't going, I'm not, I'm, I got to get my views <laughs> up first. <laughs> but no. Oh, You're going to get it. Man, I, it I think it. it's doing pretty good. I really do. I, I've been watching it and looking at it and seeing how it's flowing. It is jumping, you know, like. Now, how you have the cameras. Like, I'll be watching your interviews and you got the camera jumping. They the same every there, time. Yeah. There. That's what me and him got to work on. See, yeah. I tell him all No, the that's time. what he do, you know. That, that's his thing. I tell him he needs to switch up the angles sometimes. I don't like he's that. Like, he's like, no, I don't like I'm that. editing this. I, I don't like it. I just want it to write. It makes it fancy. Do you like it? I honestly like it. See, okay. thank you. Thank the way you, I see it, I honestly thank like it. Thank you, Cam just, God. Thank you, Jesus. Because I don't see any other podcasts. They got either no cameras or it's just no, one no, no. camera. He's still going to have all three, but switch up the angle. I don't want to do that. But he doesn't want to do did, that. But maybe at some point. I might get one it more camera. depending on how, how you're saying it. Look, I don't know how your idea is saying it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't don't tell us you're wrong. Let her be right. <laughs> then I got to go <laughs> home with this woman, man. So... <laughs> It's gonna embarrass me in front of these folks. <laughs> but you guys, man, so um, you know, the thing I said, y'all gotta keep coming over here. Y'all cause y'all knowledge, I appreciate y'all for always helping me. When I pick up the phone and call you, if I need some information, if I ask you something about what's going on with something, you always gonna give me uh, we sat on the phone for hours. We don't play we with talk. I mean, we, we, sat, talk. we sat out here. Yeah, but we like when I call here. you, you like we get started talking and, and you know I can talk, so I'm gonna be like, Yeah, what about this? What about that? You know, and that's you how even I even offer cause um before I even start getting where I'm you know, where I'm at now. I mean, I've been doing what I've been doing. Yeah. But I'm always elevating. Yeah, however, yeah. I was um, about Vegas or whatever was like, I was like, doing. like, shit, my money, sometimes I needed me some, some yeah, funds. Yeah, you know? yeah, sometimes yeah. Sometimes I couldn't pay my motherfucking bill. Yeah. And you was like, hey, you need some, you know. Just, yeah, pull up and do some videos or something. I'm going to you. I'm going to give you $500. I yeah, I'm like, so I'm going to help you. you. I'm going to give you $500. Yeah. Well, like, watch out now. I said, just come over and just do something together. Because I just feel like, I do that all the time. I do that with him. Like, if I got a, if, if it's an opportunity and we can work together and figure something out and, and, and you might need something or I might need you to help me or whatever, that's what it's supposed to be about. It's, it's supposed to be about helping each other. I was, I was other. waiting for you to travel again so I go. <laughs> and the COVID <laughs> thing, that, 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 that thing kind of slammed me. You know, that guy that's sitting behind you, he used Man, it. Man, COVID ain't slow thing, slow nothing. Not in Atlanta. Lost. Not in uh, Atlanta, for I'm sure. I'm talking about as far as video yeah, work. Yeah, y'all roll. This video <laughs> work. Them niggas when, the ain't corona, when Corona started, I'm telling you, like, people yeah. ask me, like, y'all, y'all should ask any care, man, like, hey, did the corona slow you down? No, it did You know not. why? Wow. You know why? Because people are, they need that connection to the to the, the, the social media streams and all that stuff, and you guys are going to make it look good for them. They're not really getting out like they was, like as much. So when they hit the scene, they want it to be perfect. When I told people. And who better deal with than y'all? What, what, I tell, what I was telling people as far as even if they want to shoot videos, shoot content or whatever it is, it looks like the walking dead outside. So, you know, when you go to deep out, there's nobody, nobody outside yep, yep. in the city. Looks you would kill deserted. it too on them scenes. You'll kill it. Yeah. So I was telling You're people right. do that because at first when the Corona happened, I ain't going to lie to you. The first two weeks I was like, man, what am I going to do? I started looking for a job. I started calling jobs. I started. <laughs> Not sure. Sean already thinking I'm going to do this. Well, I was straight. He was, I was, nice. still, he was, was good. good. They was straight. I was nah. still at CW. Uh, CW. 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 You still doing that, right? Yeah, I'm still yeah, I, I, I know. My boy Jay Cruz told me the other night. Yeah. He telling he, me the moves. He on TV too. Yeah, yeah. yeah y'all kicking had, it. He told us. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, man. Y'all don't seem like y'all hurting. You know what I'm saying? When I look, I'm like, oh, they charging for that. That nigga ain't get that for free. <laughs> nigga, I'm looking at every video that pop up. Oh, yeah, you got him on that one. Oh, yeah. And and, and I say, but he reasonable, you know. Oh, so, but, but on your videos, how long does it take for you to edit? 
Yeah. Depends on what depends on the video. Depends on what I'm already booked. Because some people will call. Like I got it with Two G Cash. Two G Cash. He's a um, artist that's just now about to you know blow up out of um, Dallas, and um, he got a murder charge, wow. but he's on house arrest. So I got a call from his manager Shamar. And was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna shoot a video today, you know, tomorrow, you know, today. So I'm like, shoot, all right, boom, gotta get it. But I also had shoots today, got an interview today, yeah. got another shoot today. Yeah. So it depends on what I gotta do, or you know, if they pay extra, they pay like drop that cash, you can get it done the same day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 so yeah. You gotta family? pay for that. Yeah, I say. I you say, have family? Oh, sorry. Uh, to me, I say two to three weeks on two editing to three because weeks. depending on the work that like. He romantic. A, I, yeah. I he very video. romantic. He's a perfectionist. I might, I might have another video. Video. Though. He going to work like, it in there. I have. I might have another video tomorrow to shoot. You know, I might have an interview. You can go to the club that night. So And that, people that, do not that, understand that, in, that yeah. edit. That edit. It man. takes a long time. It, 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 it depends. It. It's kind of what you're doing. Like, I'm doing hour, and hour episodes, and I'm just, you know, going through I it like that. i give you some of this. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at home, but see, that's how I got the name Cam God, too. Because I would be at four clubs in one night, and I would edit or I have uh, pictures. You know, I was doing pictures Quickly. at first. I was doing pictures at first, and then I ended up getting with Bebe. And then me and Bebe, I shot at Austin Ave, and then we went to Shreveport at Coco Palace the next day. You, was in, you used to go down there? I, be, I, like I only been there once. I only went like to Coco Palace once. Coco yeah, Pelle, I, I, go like down. I like it. I like it. You never been? <laughs> it's closed now, right? I don't know. I think it's closed now. I'm not for sure, but. but yeah, Bebe had me shoot. That was the First, the first time I ever did a recap. The first, I was, he was like, he sent me, um, he sent me a, uh, a example. He said, I want the video to look like this. Send me Stack Moses. Now, Stack Moses, now that is the, you know, he's dope, dope, dope. He so was it shooting, pushed you. He was with French Montana. Okay. You know, and Stack Moses videos is amazing, amazing. You know, so I was like, bro, you want me to shoot? You want me to edit like how he <laughs> got his videos? I can't, I don't know. So it took, it was taking me a four days, five days just to do a one minute clip yeah. from the club, do like a. I was like, I don't know how to do. I'm like, this is the best you I learned, can do. Though, then you. That's what made me start stepping up to do videos. So you, what, what, what do you think? Uh, it's it's the first. What is the first quarter? Mm-hmm. Um. So so how how's it, how y'all thinking? That y'all gonna break the bank this year? Is, is this a good? Is this the year that everything going to first the quarter roof? start off great? So first you, quarter start off. How much y'all, y'all gonna try to make? Uh, what well, you know? I ain't. Gonna, I'm not gonna count your money. I know you niggas doing good. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm God, poor. Money, <laughs> I'm poor, but I'm, you know, God provides every time when the month comes. Say, you don't look bills. poor when you jumping out of these airplanes in these different states. And, <laughs> no, don't look poor. Say, at all. say, don't, don't get it twisted. Don't not get it twisted because sometimes you'll get a call and be like, and you'll look at it as an opportunity and it look like because I'm working with this person, like I'm getting paid, but it's not because people thought when I was with MTV Wild well, not be like, oh man, he getting his bread. Yeah, with yeah. Nah, nigga, that's an opportunity. Yeah. Right. I'm not asking them people for no money and that's what people miss out sometimes. It's not about, you know, because them people don't owe you shit, but they have the opportunity for you to go other places because now if I'm shooting a major uh, uh, clothing line or something like that or maybe a major uh, jewelry line and I'm just shooting their pictures, now I can go to all these other people and I can be like, hey, this is what I've shot, this is what I have, and this is who it's for. They don't know if I did that shit for free, but they Mm -hmm. know the quality of it is good. Mm -hmm. So they're like, all right, well, I'm going to pay you Mm -hmm. $10,000 for that. So that that's the opportunity, just opening up opportunities, man, for you anyway. Once you start linking with certain people, and and you guys get the calls, like certain guys that come into town, they know that they, they they've worked with y'all before previously, and they see the work. And I'm pretty sure y'all get those calls again. Mm-hmm. You know, when people fly into Dallas, right? Right. So that's the good thing about being being good at what you do, and and I think that's something that and that's what's good with building for. building those relationships as we go. Because sometimes you we be in a. Okay, I have one more question. Oh, uh, okay. We'll shut it down. Um, with y'all being so busy as you 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 say you are, how do you fit family life into yeah. your business Fuck family. Schedule? Whoa. Well, nah, nah, nah. Let's, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's <laughs> go. No, no, that means he's single. That's a single man statement. Yeah, That's a single say, man statement. That man got his own layover. Don't do that. Don't do that. Cam God is tripping. That's, like, that's he's single. Sacrifice. Like, you got to sacrifice. Gotta like, sacrifice. You sacrifice friends, like yeah. family, like... <laughs> If you if, we, if you with your family all the that's time, a like single man statement. Move around, like, I know, but you know, having a woman at home and then you're always gone, you know, they're gonna be like, babe, can't you can we get us time this weekend or us time? 
You shaking your head? No, no. no. single still. <laughs> the no, boy's single. We're not talking to you. We're talking he to running you. through Dallas. I'm, I'm the same way. Like, like, you gotta go to work. You gotta, you go gotta to work. make sure yeah. you prioritize. Well, but you still gotta find time to. Oh, that's man. woman. See, the woman different than the, y'all know this, right? Nah, it's either you join in what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, be around what I'm doing. Hold so the camera. You, be, hold yeah. my bag. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Get a lens or something. Come however. to the interview. See, because when I started, <laughs> when I started, exactly, come to the interview, come where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? There's, so you don't stop them from he coming can do, with you. We can do whatever the hell I okay. do, whatever the fuck I want to do. Whoever I want to bring, hey, that's my assistant. When I go out, if I'm going overseas, if I'm going to another state, okay. hey, this is girl. Ah, you get to bring my assistant. That's my assistant. <laughs> that's so they a have lie. to pay for that's her. That's your and, old lady. And <laughs> if you that's tripping. A, but I'm saying they can. You probably create an opportunity for these women out here. I see what's going I, on now. I could. <laughs> I could. You know what I'm saying? If only they listen. They got to listen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to train them up. <laughs> Say, man, y'all, this is, hey, this is great, nice. man. Hey, man, Boss Talk 101, man. We're we going to get boss. you guys back over here, man. So don't you got to do a drop before you leave, and I don't care if you don't want to. Hey man, it's been a, <laughs> hey, it's a unique hustle. It's Boss Talk One Hundred and One, and we out.